Every single one of the villages across all of Alaska have their own unique culture and feel and flair. And so for us, this is home. There's no place like here. I'm Alexana Salmon. And I'm Christina Salmon. We were born and raised in Igyagig, Alaska. We couldn't have been luckier. The entire Bristol Bay watershed, there is salmon culture. All of us are salmon people. The fish have sustained us for at least 8,000 years. And because our people still get a salmon run and because we can still rely on it, we can still go out and provide for ourselves. That's why, you know, when mines like Pebble want to come in, you have to question why would you trade a 20 year mine life for this? I mean, this is who we are. I've toured enough mines too to know that once they get their investment and they get the green light to develop, it happens overnight. And at that point, it's irreparable damage. The threat is, is very real, you know, with uh, massive resource development extraction projects that could have a dramatic impact on the fisheries. Uh, this is the last wild salmon bastion in the world. The, there's no place left on earth that produces fisheries like Bristol Bay does. People of Igyagi have been here for thousands and thousands of years because they recognize the significance and the importance of being right there where they're at for, to take advantage of the salmon runs, the berries, the wildlife, the moose, the caribou populations. And so it provides a food source for the people that live here. And if that doesn't put things in a high enough perspective and recognize that this needs protection, I don't know where we're gonna protect. We have hosted a lot of different conservation groups. This summer alone, we've already given three tours three. of conservation groups that are looking for ways to invest. And, you know, that's cool, we don't mind, but a lot of times we don't see a whole lot come from any of that. With Wild Ark, what I've appreciated is there has been a lot of open communication and you've been willing to just come on out here and, and to move so quickly on a property that we have been trying to purchase for 10 years. That just goes to show that if everyone works together um, and we, we have the community and the corporation and all the partners in place, we can move quickly to do the work that we need to do. Places like this are becoming fewer and fewer and I think it's critical that we recognize that as a society that we can't just develop and overrun everything. There's got to be places left on earth that we can go to that are like they were not even thousands of years ago, just even hundreds of years ago. <laughs> Yupik Eskimo language is the only surviving language that we had here in our community and that's how I'm going to identify as a Yupik. We have to uphold those values that have been passed down for the last 10,000 years. Today we are the Iriyaragmiut. We are the people who belong to this place on the land.